Enoch only session. Contra. Lego. Let's get right there. You know, we in the flow. Isaiah chapter 60. How y'all really? Naga, I know how you feeling, but how you really? How you really, really? Let's get it. The Wada to the Khan Dynasty forever. Arise, cool, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of Hawa is risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But upon you, Hawa will arise upon you. Hawa will rise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. And nations shall walk at your light, and kings at the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes about and see they are gathered together and come to you. The sons come from afar, and the daughters are born on the side. Then you shall see and be radiant. We blew Marvel in. Think it's play play. Every night I got a drag. Then these Nagas will see what to see clearly. And be radiant, man. That means you are brilliant. You are popping off. You got the greater light. You blew marveling. And the heart shall throb and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be turned unto you. And the wealth of the nation shall come unto you. Really? I know it sounds too good to be true. You've been beat up, knocked upside your head every day. You paid taxes to the queen. <laughs> you dodging the hijack, dodging the popo, dodging the false witnesses and out of cold knockers. The entire world is trying to manipulate us. Our own noggers is trying to manipulate us. Trying to pull on our heartstrings, but our heart bone, our heart, and your heart shall throb and be enlarged. Your heart bone is going up, man. The abundance of the sea shall turn to you. What's the abundance of the sea, my knight? I'll wait. Well, there's a lot of land in the sea, you know. <laughs> there's a lot of treasure in the sea. And there's a lot of dragons in the sea. Wow. The abundance of the sea shall be turned unto you, given to you. The wealth of the nations shall be given to you. Come. Remember coming out of Egypt, how all these Egyptians started giving you gold, started giving you all their jewelry, started breaking you off because they knew who you were rocking with. They knew who was rolling with you, who was, you know, going ahead of you, popping off. You got dragons in the front, dragons on the side, dragons behind you, man. Do you remember my night? The 
wealth of the nations shall come unto you. You're not going to have to work and grind to get it. You're not going to have to spend so much time toiling and slaving that you really don't have time to raise your children appropriately. Be the husband you got to be and a wife you got to be. Everybody's grinding all day. caravan of camels shall come shall cover you Whoa. and the young camels of Midian and Epha all coming from Sheba they shall proclaim the praises of Hawa All the flocks of Kedar, Kadar, or are we talking cedar, <laughs> shall be gathered together unto you. The rams of Naboth shall minister unto you. They shall come up with acceptance of mine altar, and I will glorify my glorious house. Who are these that fly as a cloud? Remember, you were following a cloud, a pillar of fire out of Egypt. Who are these that fly as a cloud? Ooh. Oh, wow. And the doves to their coats. Surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring your sons from afar. Their silver and their gold with them. For the name of Hawa your pal, and for the Holy One of Hasharah of Israel, because he has glorified you. This is why Egypt was breaking themselves, giving you the gold and the treasures on the way out of bondage, because Hawa had glorified you. For Hawa <sighs> to glorify you, that means you blew Marvel in again. <laughs> That means you popping off. You sparking off. Verse 10. And aliens. Who's the aliens? These are Gentile nations. Shall build up your walls. Don't be surprised. If you got those of other nations. Say man you know. I don't know why. But let me help you man. Start building something. You know. And watch. Some alien or somebody outside the house of Israel, you know, it's no disrespect. It's just how Hawaii's viewing it. <laughs> you inside the house, you outside the house. You outside the house, you out of cold, you're an alien. But even aliens were used to our advantage. Even alien rulers like Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus, over and over again used to our advantage an alien shall build up your walls and their kings shall minister unto you now Cyrus is telling you you're getting cold <laughs> for in my wrath I smote you but in my favor have I compassion on you what you know about Hawa's compassion wow. huh what do you know about Hawa bringing the wealth of the nations to you and the abundance of everything in the ocean to you. <laughs> what do you know about seeing clearly and being radiant? Because Hawa is glorified you. Thy gates shall be open continually day and night. They shall not be shut. That men may bring unto you the wealth of the nations. Has this happened before? Because I just haven't seen it. Where the Nagas just started really popping off. And 
because Hawa is lifting you up and they know who is rocking with you. They understand that you are chosen. They're so in wonder and marveling that they forget their fear. They just want to be down. They just, they just want to help. Just something in them says, I need to help these knockers. They want to build land here. <laughs> Let me help you build this land. You need protection here. <laughs> I can help with that. Whoa. Your gate shall be open because day and night they're going to be coming in and out, bringing wealth to you. And their kings in procession, their kings, their leaders are bringing wealth. Imagine that. <clears throat> Imagine Putin <laughs> and whoever's leading China now, and whoever's just coming constantly, breaking off the so called Negro people, right? The encode Nagas. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve you shall perish. Bang. That's why <laughs> they got to do it, man. It's not even really a choice. Because whoever don't get down will get laid down. Get with it or get left on. Because the price is going up. Oh, wow. You're on a warpath. Those nations will be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come into you. The cypress, the plane tree, and the larch together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. And the sons of them that afflicted you shall come bending unto you. And all they that despised you shall bow down all the soles of their feet. And they wow. shall call you the city of Hawa, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated. So that no man pass through you, I will make you an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. And thou shalt also suck the milk of the nations <laughs> and shall suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I am Hawa. I, Hawaii, am your savior. That means you eating off them. They're not eating off you no more. And I, the mighty one of Jacob, your redeemer. The mighty one of Jacob, Hawkwa. We don't need no redeemer in the New Testament, man. You have Hawa forever. You don't need no new testament. Who's calling it? Who's labeling something new? Who's giving you a new tune? Who's trying to tune you out? Frequency war. We on a war path. Wow. Hey, Hawaii say the price is going up, man. <laughs> They're going to have to bend the knee. They're going to have to serve you because you serve Hawaii. Cut. Huh? We got in the Torah only sessions, the importance of being a servant of the creator. In order, they serve you. You serve a why. And by default, everyone bows down. For brass, I will bring gold. For iron, I will bring silver. For wood, brass. For stones, iron. And there ain't no brass. They just translating copper to brass. So for copper, I will bring gold. For iron, I will bring silver. For wood, I'll bring copper. And for stones, I'll bring iron. <laughs> and I also make your officers peace. Shalom. 
No more warring within our factions. And righteousness, your magistrates. So peace or shalom is your officer. And righteousness is your magistrate. Ama. And violence shall no more be heard in your land. Oh man, you in the hood like I'm in the hood. I hear poppity pop pop every night, man. And it hurts my heart because you know you feel that energy Whoa. of death and destruction, of hurt. So quick to hurt each other, so possessed by the spirit of destruction. But violence shall no more be heard in your land, my naga. Desolation nor destruction within your borders, my naga. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no more. <laughs> Let's get it. The sun shall no more light your light by day. Neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto you. The sun's light is not forever. Remember, it was the sun creating a day four. Like, oh, wow. let there be light happen, I think, day two, right? So, <laughs> we had a light before the sun, if you remember. But now you think you need the sun for nourishment. Imagine that greater light. Straight out that firmament when the roof is open like a retractable ceiling. You have the greater light, no more darkness. But Hawa shall be unto you an everlasting light. No more reflection of Hawa's light. You got Hawa's light directly, but this light, they can't <sighs> handle it. They're calling it radiation, gamma radiation. They're calling it all kinds of stuff. They can't handle this light. They could barely handle the sun. If they can't handle the sun, how are they going to handle the greater light, the everlasting light? They're not natural to it. And your power is your glory. The sun shall no more go down. Neither shall the moon withdraw itself, for Hawa shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall be ended. So amazing how, you know, they say mourning, right? M-O-U-R-I-N-I-N-G, and then you have good morning. A morning, M-O-R-N-I-N-G, is the same as M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. And we talk about the sun not going down or, you know, not having to withdraw and the moon not having to withdraw. Because there ain't no darkness. Hawa is our everlasting light and the days of your morning shall be ended. Wow. Literally, <laughs> your people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, where I glory, the smallest shall become a thousand. And the least a mighty nation. Because you blew Marvel in. <laughs> yeah, man. The very least shall be like Dawi. The weakest will be like the strongest. The most feeble will have the strength to take on a thousand. Yeah, we blew marveling for real. And the marvel is the wonder. 
I wonder. How truly Yapa, how truly beautiful Anaga really is. You know, we can barely imagine, we can barely marvel at it, but to see yourself in your fullness, if you didn't have the Whoa. code and your security, shit, you might start worshiping yourself. You might say, man, I'm just so beautiful. <laughs> Hawa creates so beautiful that to not be vain and it takes work because that's how good you got it. That's how that's how strong you are. That's how perfect you are. It's hard not to be vain, man. It's hard not to feel like you all that because you are. But you have to serve with that goodness. You got to serve with that perfection. You got to serve a while with the righteousness to be a mighty nation. I, Hawa, will hasten it in its time. That I means speed it up. We feel like the days are getting shorter. Oh, the earth is spinning faster, boss. Oh, no, wow. man. Hawa is hastening in its time. We're getting, we're moving quicker at a target. We're moving quicker at a checkpoint. We are getting hastened in its time. I, Hawa, will hasten it in its time. Is it time? Is it undeniable to a point where they got to make up some malarkey like the earth is spinning faster for the days to be getting shorter? Or is Hawa hastening wow. this time? Hastening your redemption to be a mighty nation. Because your people all shall be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. Allah Hawa. To knock only session. For your breath, for your security, for our Shabbat. Let your Ruach be poured into us that we may serve you with a mighty purpose, with mighty fulfillment and exact righteousness. Wow. Let us complete our journey for our tribe, for our children, for your supreme manifestation, Hawa. We thank you, the Wada, for this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Cold Keeper for Joy World for Nagavit.